Hello everyone, it has been a while since I posted anything on the channel, so I figured um, I should probably drop a uh, some sort of devlog videos detailing what I've been doing lately, um, because a few people have been reaching out asking if I was going to be putting out more content on uh, utility AI or other AI systems, and yeah, so the answer to that is yes, I'm still very much alive, and those uh, con that content will be coming. I am just currently very busy building this uh, really cool hybrid uh, AI framework that combines both goal-oriented action planning and my previous utility AI system into one hybrid framework. Uh, and it's turning out to be a lot harder than I expected. Um, and part of the reason is because uh, when I try to dig into, um, you know, how did I even build goal-oriented action planning systems, uh, there weren't actually a lot of good tutorials out there at all. Um, the ones that were readily available, you know, there were, I found a lot of issues with them. The, specifically the architecture that was being used for those tutorials. Uh, they're not particularly good. And what's even worse is that, uh, these prototype GOP systems that were, you know, used for tutorials, uh, you know, people actually took them and turned them into uh, assets that people can buy on the asset store, which is, you know, not really good because, you know, it's like bad practice just being propagated um, up the chain. And of course, this is not to hate on the content creators and the people who created the tools, you know, the props to them for putting out stuff, spending their time giving us game devs some, some tools to work with. Um, it's more just giving critical feedback about the architectures that were put out there. Basically, I just cracked open the code, looked at what they were, how they were doing things, and there was just a lot of um, not safe code um, in those uh, prototypes and, and those assets that were on the store. So um, I went ahead and started coding out my own GOP system to avoid the, that unsafe architecture. And so I guess. One question is why 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 did I bother going down the the route of using goal oriented action planning? Um, because I started out with utility AI, right? That's the whole point of the tutorial series that I made was that I showed you guys how to build the utility AI system that I made, and that I had planned to continue to extend. But turns out that for my game, as I was working on it, trying to extend the utility AI system, it was just wasn't what I expected it to be. Um, it was a learning process, of course, uh, for me as much as it was for people who were watching the series. And what I found was that the utility AI, by nature, would just was not suited to be used for my game strictly by itself. And what my game is, the game that I'm currently working on, it's basically a game that simulates procedural societies. So you know, you have a bunch of NPCs, they are thrown and tossed into this game world, and they have the world open to them, and they do whatever they want to um you know they build their own societies they build their own uh social structures and the player is just kind of thrown into this world of procedurally generated villages societies and all that um it's not a procedurally generated world when people say procedurally generated world they typically t are talking about like you know terrains the environment uh and stuff like that i'm talking about so, uh, actual like social structures that develop on their own from as a result of these NPCs just interacting with each other and the environment around them. And so in such a game, such a simulation, utility AI is not particularly well suited for it because utility AI by nature is uh, giving the NPC the ability to select just the best action and that's all it cares about. Um, it doesn't care about what's going to happen as a result of that action. It just wants to know what's the next best action it should be doing at every moment. So in layman's term, that basically just means the NPC is YOLOing throughout the game world. And that's not good, right? Uh, if you want the NPC to actually be smart enough to build its own village, its own houses and all that, then it needs to actually have some sort of planning logic to it, right? It needs to think about what uh, it needs to be doing, Five, five, six steps later and not just thinking about what it needs to be doing um, at this very instance. That's why I ended up going down the route of using goal-oriented action planning. But of course, using goal-oriented action planning by itself, I also realized that that wasn't going to be enough. 
What was going to be better is if the NPC just uses a hybrid framework of both utility AI and goal-oriented action planning. And the idea is that the NPC will use the goal-oriented action planning AI to generate an overall plan to guide its behavior, while its moment-to-moment -moment decisions will be governed by the utility AI system. And I think that will give a suitable framework for to drive these NPCs to um, do what they got to do in the game. So that's what I've been working on, and it's been taking a lot of time because I I haven't found anyone else who tried to do this. Um, well, that's not true. I actually found one PhD paper that tried to do this back in like 2015, but it was really, really hard to follow. It was done in like the Quake engine, I think, and it was just, there was no scripts. It was basically just a lot of pseudocode, and it was really hard to follow along what they were doing. But um, you know, at least it gave me some ideas of where to head. So that was basically the only thing I could find on like utility based goal oriented action planning systems. And this is what I have now. This little simulation here, you can see here, I was able to get the planner algorithm to work. Um, that was a really hard thing to do. Trying to come up with a new planner algorithm that everyone wasn't using blindly. So I got rid of the bad architecture I was seeing out there and basically coded a new planner algorithm from scratch. And now I'm in the process of integrating the utility AI into this GOP system that I made. So this is what I have now. Doesn't look like it's a whole lot. Um, this is just the infamous ugly village scene from my utility AI tutorial series. And the reason I'm using the same exact one is because this is actually a test bed for my, my AI systems. All these objects here, they have scripts on them that I have designed to be modular, as modular as possible, so that when I actually start building uh, the real parts of my game, I could basically just put in the scripts and spawn objects left and right. So. Yeah, I'm not an artist. I'm going to cling onto these three simple 3D models for as long as I can. Um, at some point, I will eventually have to add in characters with real animations. But until then, uh, I'm just going to continue using this to validate that my AI framework is working. Uh, once I get this hybrid AI framework working, I do plan to put out a tutorial series that uh, shows you how to build it from scratch. That way, you guys also have a... Um, hybrid AI framework that takes advantage of both goal-oriented action planning and utility AI, just as I have right now. And of course, uh, that tutorial will be a lot better structured than this. I really don't like making videos. They take so much time and I suck at making them. So uh, like I spent so much time re-recording this over and over because I just was not happy with how ugly it was turning out, but I just am spending way too much time trying to make a pretty video and just just doesn't seem worth it to me. So I'm just making this short dev vlog here to let you guys know what's going on with uh, the channel, what I have planned. And the last thing I want to talk about is that I have, I have decided to create a Discord server for us to talk about, you know, just video game AI in general, because that is something that I think is lacking in the game dev community. You know, there's a lot of channels, uh, Discord servers out there for game dev in general, but it's really hard to find specific uh, structured information on video game AI. And that's the whole reason why I started this channel. And uh, just based on my utility AI tutorial series in the comment sections, they're starting to turn into giant walls of text of me explaining things and answering questions to people. So I figured, why not just create a Discord server where people can jump on, ask me, pick my brains, ask me questions, um, collaborate with each other, and just share knowledge about video game AI? Uh, because that's something that I certainly wish that I had starting out, but I didn't. So this this is uh, this is me now trying to get that community going. So the Discord link will be in the description of this video and all other videos that I will be putting out in the future. Um, so yeah, hop on there. I'll be on there. Uh, whenever I'm working, I'll probably just be streaming what I'm working on, and you can ask me questions. We can talk about video game AI. You can connect with other people, and hopefully it can just grow into like this community of people who can just share information on video game AI, best practices, and 
just teach each other how to uh, what AI systems are best to use for their games. Okay, so uh, that's all I had for now. This is a really shitty devlog. I apologize, but as I said, the more time I spend on videos, the less time I get to spend on working on this framework in my game. So it's just uh, I I just rather would work on my game than spend a lot of time making really cool videos like other game devs out there who are making like really cool devlogs. Um, I'll spend that time on the tutorials themselves and um, my game and the framework. But for these devlogs, they just want to be simple, straightforward, and give give you guys an update on what's going on with me. All right. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, remember uh, to uh, get that link to the Discord server, and hopefully I will see, I'll see you on you guys on there, and we can hang out and just do AI stuff. Thank you very much. Take care.